Martha Stewart, Table 5. Wouldn't it be fun to arrive at a wedding reception and find a wreath like this? It's a very clever and very interesting way to let your guests know where they're seated. Each leaf has a name printed on it, along with a table number. It's simply a matter of picking the right leaf. And I have some other really great ideas to show you today for informing your guests about where they're going to sit. And these are some of the nicest that I've ever seen, starting with these leaf cards. And you can create a template like that and cut it out of a stiff piece of paper. And this is right on our website at MarthaStewart.com. And you can trace this leaf onto a nice, sturdy craft paper. This pretty green, I think, is very attractive. And if you want to really speed up the process, if you're going to have a couple hundred guests or so, take a straight pair of scissors and just cut out each of the leaves. It's these little points of the leaves that you use the straight scissors for, and the rest of the leaf is cut out with a pinking shear. And then finish the job with any one of the many, 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 many Fiskars pinking shears that now exist. These are so pretty, and you can really make a decorative, almost a deckled edge on your little place card. Once you've cut out your leaves, and you should do all the leaves first, then you can have a calligrapher write the names of the guests, or if you have very beautiful handwriting, you can do that yourself, and of course the table number. On the back of the leaf, you can affix the little stem, and you can use a glue stick for that. It works very simply. Just apply the glue, and we're going to use a piece of floral wire. That floral wire will enable you to stick the leaf into the wreath, just like this. So just put that on the back of the leaf, let them dry well, and you have your leaf card, and just insert them in. A boxwood wreath is a great, great way to seat your guests. And a 24-inch wreath will hold about 60 cards. Now, another great idea is this beautiful carnation bed, a wonderful canvas for displaying place cards. And here we have Beth Lawson, table one, written in pink. And this is so easy to do. To make the bed, the oasis bed, you cut the oasis block. This is one block, and you can cut it in half lengthwise like that and use one layer. That's plenty of oasis for these beautiful carnations. Lay these in a tray, soak them really well with water, and then insert the carnations. Uh, one half block like this will hold four cards and about two dozen carnations. And then you just insert your carnations in to the oasis. It's just astonishingly beautiful. It looks really, really pretty. It uses up a lot of carnations, but carnations are an economical flower. They are very easy to work with, and they will stay alive for a day or two. Just keep watering the oasis. Here's our beautiful bed all done. Very important to make it like a carpet. Now, here's another really cute seating plan. This is a little box. It's a favor inside. Two delicious chocolate truffles right in the box. You wrap them up. First put your truffles inside like that. Close it and wrap the box in a colorful paper. Look at all the different choices one can have within a color scheme. It's just very, very easy to do. And now we've printed all the names on this wonderful, wonderful adhesive back paper, printed in a beautiful font right on the computer. And these are done uh, in alphabetical order, so you can easily arrange everything, peel off, cut them into perfect little rectangles, and apply right to the box. Of course, Always put these in, let me see, Davenport, right here. Always put them in alphabetical order so that your guests will be able to find his or her name. Table three, table seven, and so on. It really looks pretty. And we're using these square plates that look really pretty with the little boxes on them. And here's just another very simple way, a field of Cosmo flowers. It's a really beautiful way to display the cards. And on each of the Cosmos is attached a name and a table. 
Just print out the cards with your guest names and the table numbers and cut the little cards out with a decorative edge and punch a hole in and place it right in a glass like this. You can rent the glasses. If you have beautiful little tumblers like this, you can just set it up like that. And it really does look like a field of flowers. And it's a sweet remembrance of the wedding if you take that home with you. And now the last thing is a seating map. This is a very formal way of conveying the seating arrangements. On the right is an alphabetized list of everyone who's at the wedding with the table number after the name. And then you can just look at the table number, say seven, and there is Mrs. Holly Hinckley, whoever. You can create a map like this using a computer design program, then have it printed as poster size at a copy shop. Mount on a foam board and put it on a nice little stand. This is just foam core, it's really easy. And we've gone another step and edged it with grain ribbon. So no matter if you choose the more traditional seating chart like this, or something a little quirkier like a field of cosmos or a carpet of carnations, I hope we've inspired you with these ideas. Of course, the hard part is figuring out who sits where, and that I'll leave up to you. <laughs>